Hi, my name is Chris and I was the lead designer of the Lecky MyWay and I'm going to walk you through the features and functions of our new walker. So if you've purchased a size 2 or a size 3 walker, you will receive it in two parts. Um, you'll receive the spine unit and you'll receive the walker frame. The first thing you want to do is release the legs of your walker frame using the grey toggles on the side and walk it forward and that is your frame up and ready to go. The spine unit, if you grab the grey handle and grab the spine unit at the top, lift it up and feed it on to the receiver on the frame and you should hear a click when it locks in place. The size 2 and 3 my way can be folded and separated for storage or transport. To do this, first remove the coloured straps from the spine. Adjust the overall height to its maximum position. Grabbing the spine, pull the grey handle at the rear of the spine and lift upwards to release the spine from the frame. To fold the frame, make sure that the rear casters are braked. Pull the grey buttons at the side and walk the frame backwards. The casters of the MyWay have four separate functions. The first being the parking brake. To apply this, use your foot on the grey pedal. Press until you hear two clicks. You can do this on all four casters. The second function of the casters is the direction lock. This is also done by using your foot on the grey pedal, but this time only pressing until you hear one click. Once you've done this, rotate the wheel until it locks in the forward position. You can do this to the two rear wheels, the two front wheels, or all four wheels at once. To release, simply kick the pedal until you hear a click. The third function of the casters is wheel resistance. The toggle for this is on the left side of each caster. If you push the toggle towards the plus, this will increase the resistance of the wheel and therefore making it turn slower. If you push the toggle towards the minus sign, this reduces the resistance and makes the wheel more free moving. The final function of the casters is the anti-rollback feature. This is on the right side of each caster. This is applied by pushing the grey toggle towards the single arrow. For the anti-rollback feature to work, you must also have the direction lock engaged on the wheel. This will then prevent that wheel from moving backwards. You should apply this feature to at least two wheels at one time. To release the feature, move the grey toggle towards the two-way arrow and release the direction lock. There are several adjustments you can do whilst the child is in the product. The first is the fine height. This allows you to raise the child up in small increments. Do this by pushing the paddles down until you hear a click and then pull the paddles back up until you hear a second click. This has moved the child up by 10 millimetres. You can continue to do this until you get the child to the appropriate height. Once you're finished, make sure you push the paddles back up into the vertical position. Another adjustment you can do whilst the user is in the product is the prone angle. You can adjust this using the grey wheel on the back. Turning counterclockwise will increase the prone angle of the user. Turning clockwise will bring the user back to vertical. Before you put the user into the product, you'll want to adjust the overall height. You do this using the grey triggers on the top of the spine. Push the button underneath with your fingers and the top trigger with your thumb. You may need to lift up a little bit to release and then you can slide the spine freely to the height that you want it to be at. Simply let go of the triggers and the spine will say where it is. 
At the bottom of the spine, there are two buttons with the coloured straps. This releases the buckles that the harness attaches to. You'll want to release these before you bring the child to the product. If you press the button at the white strap and pull the white buckle, it releases these two. And the same for the red. The harness comes in six sizes um, for users from one years old up to 16 years old. Today I'm using the size 3 harness with the size 2 walker frame. To attach the harness to the frame, first use the white buckle and attach to the corresponding buckle on the walker frame. Do this on both sides. Then use the red buckle and attach to the corresponding buckle on the walker frame and again on the opposite side. Once you've attached all four buckles, the straps at the back pull taut and this will pull the user into the frame. If these straps dangle low, you can clip these back up onto the back of the spine to keep them out of the user's way. Once the user is in the frame, adjust the shoulder pad to match their height. Do this by releasing the grey tab on the side and slide the pad up. The top of the pad should come level with the user's shoulder. To fasten it in place, simply push the grey tab back down. Once you've done this, fasten the grey buckles to the corresponding buckle on the harness. Then pull the straps to the appropriate tightness. You can also tighten the shoulder straps at the top. Release the black buckle, pull the strap taut and press the black buckle down. You can do this on both sides. To detach the harness from the frame, simply release the four buckles, starting with the two red buckles and finishing with the two white buckles at the rear. The adult handles come in three different sizes. Each size corresponds to the appropriate walker. To attach the adult handles, feed the bracket into the receiver on the walker frame and push upwards. Then secure the large knob to the bottom of the receiver. Lastly, secure the small knob to the top right of the receiver. The connection belt can be attached to any of the three sizes of adult handles. To do this, feed the Velcro straps round the uprights of the handles and secure in place. To fasten to the product, adjust the belt to the appropriate height, feed the strap round your waist and fasten the buckle. You can adjust the strap to suit your waist. The MyWay headdress can fit on any of the three walker frames. To attach it, release the grey tab at the top of the shoulder section, feed the headrest in and rotate the knob clockwise. Check that it's securely fastened. To release, turn the knob anti-clockwise. Slide the headrest out of the shoulder and reapply the grey tab. The headrest can be adjusted to three different positions. To do this, release the two thumb knobs at the rear, move the headrest to the desired position and reapply the two thumb knobs. The MyWay comes with three different sizes of user handles. I'm using the size two handles on the size two frame. To attach these, Feed them into the receiver on the spine, press the popper and slide it upwards until the popper clicks in place. Ensure that the handles are secure before use. To release, press the popper in and slide the handle down. The ankle guides come in three different sizes, each with a rope length corresponding to the appropriate frame. I'm using the size 2 ankle guides on the size 2 frame. To attach, remove the knob from the screw on one end, feed the loop on the other end 
over the caster. Put the bolt through the hole in the frame at the rear and apply the knob. You can tighten this knob as little or as much as you like to adjust the tension of the cord. You can limit the range of movement of the ankle guide using the black hooks on the rope. Simply hook these back over the rope in your desired positions. This will then restrict the movement of the slider. To undo these or adjust these, simply unhook them from the rope and slide along. Another accessory of the MyWay is the hoisting straps. These straps can be attached to any of the six MyWay harnesses. To do this, start on one side of the harness. Attach one end of the strap to the front coloured loop and the other to the coloured loop on the rear of the harness. Repeat this on the other side. The MyWay saddle comes in two sizes, small or large. Either of these sizes can be attached to any of the three walker frames. To attach the saddle, feed the coloured straps through the saddle, hook the bar onto the moulding at the bottom of the spine, pull the grey lever down and rotate the saddle to a horizontal position. Then release the grey lever. Check that the pommel is securely in place. There's an indicator on the side that will show red or green. If it shows green, the pommel is securely fastened. If it shows red, release the grey lever and push it back in until you see only green. To release the saddle, pull the grey handle outwards, rotate the saddle into a vertical position and unhook it from the bottom of the spine. Thank you.